Hello, hello, my crafty friends. It's Dion with the Blushing Mint. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me. Um, we are still hot in the midst of our Christmas in July series. Um, we are on our final week, the final seven days, friends, for our Christmas in July series. Um, at times I think, oh my gosh, it seems like it's taken forever, but then it's like, oh my gosh, it's almost over. Like, where did time go? Um, so anyway, um, I just want to thank you for um, staying with me, for um, being a part of the channel through your comments, through your thumbs up. Um, I just, I truly appreciate each and every interaction and knowing that you guys are on the other side. Um, hanging out and crafting with me means the world. So thank you so, so very much. So today... Um, we are going to do a multi-pocket flip folio, and this is my take of a folio that G Kerr, and that is G-I-K-E-R-R, -R, and if I can remember, I will link her down below. Um, she did this five-pocket folio. And this is kind of my take on her folio. I absolutely loved it, but I added some extra pockets. I did it a little bit different, um, but I definitely want to shout out to her because she was the first one I saw with this um, super easy folio. And I love how we can just take something and make it our own and make it unique and different. So this is my take on G's five pocket folio. Um, and so this, the base of this is um, a 12 by 12 or an 8.5 by 11 um, double-sided. I think double-sided is very important um, cardstock, piece of cardstock. If it's 12 by 12, now mine, for this one here, I did, um, I did do it 8.5 by 11. So this is 8.5 tall, and my inside sheet is by 11. Um, the one I'm going to show you today, I actually, because I thought this might be a little too big, so I did, I did 8 by 10 for the one I'm going to show you today. So you can make it however. Um, it just, the base of your... The base can depends on how large a piece of paper you have. If you have 8.5 by 11, do that. If you have 12 by 12, you can create whatever. So I did this one 8.5 by 11. And um, it has a, so the little pocket here flips over. And I've got two little journaling cards here. It flips out. And there's another pocket. And I have another journaling card. Then the front... I have kind of a side tuck pocket, and I put a big journaling card in there. And then that opens, and you have a left-hand pocket where I have another large journaling card. And then basically the center of your folio, I have a big long tag here. And then I have a main pocket. I've got a couple tags or a journaling card and a tag. And then I've got another little pocket with another little journaling card. And you can just go crazy with this. So her original, her original one was just one, two, three, four, five pockets. I've gone crazy mad because, you know, if five is great, let's make some more. So I added a sixth and a seventh just because I could. Um, and I just, it was fun. So anyhow, that is the base of the base of this folio. And then how you decorate and everything is completely up to you. But we're going to go ahead and we are going to make one um, together. So super, super fun. So like I said, the first thing I did is I cut my paper to 8 by 10. And I am using a paper pack. Um, it was just some loose papers that I had, um, and they are from uh, the the pack pad is called Christmas Spirit, and it's a reminisce paper pad. And I don't even know you guys where I got it from. I I hate to even tell you, I found it um, in a stack of open stock cardstock that I have in a in a bin. And so, um, anyhow, that's the paper that I'm using. 
doesn't matter here nor there, but just so you know. So I'm going to have this be the outside of my of my folio. This be the inside. So again, I've cut it 8 by 10. Then I want to have um, an accent piece that creates my my pockets on the inside and so this paper pad had this cute super cute Santa and I just love him and so he was um, so I cut him down to about seven and a half so that gives me a quarter inch on the top and the bottom and I don't even know what I cut it to seven and a half by seven maybe by eight so seven and a half by eight and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to round the corners on him um, just so that it gives it that finished look. And I apologize, I didn't do my corner rounding and my inking ahead of time. I just got busy, got busy after I created the prototype sitting down to get this filmed. So we have videos to look at every day because what would we do if it, we didn't have a video every day for Christmas in July? I would be sad. Okay, round my corner again here. Didn't do a good job the first time. Okay, so now um, I want to take my scoreboard and if this is 10, I want to score at five. I'm, yes, I knew that that was correct, but sometimes this scoreboard is not as perfect as I want it to be. So I'm just making sure. So score it in half and score on each side. That way your paper doesn't break. Okay. And then fold that in half. Beautiful. Round your little corners. Medium. Oh, oh. that's painful. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to ink some some right here. Rounding corners ink your if if you're an inker just do it while you're you've got everything out here front and back for cohesion of course i think this is a great gift folio um you know to put some fun memories in this is great this is a great little mini journal, you know, um, where you could give the recipient a little mini journal with all the journaling cards and they can write their favorite Christmas memories in here, tuck it in with their Christmas stuff for the year. Okay, so this is how it's going to sit. Now, I want it to be just a hair away from um, this edge. I want it to be centered here. So I just kind of have to play with it to see where I need to score that. So basically, if I have everything in line where I want it to be, then I just find my 5-inch mark. And now I know that it is going to be <clears throat> folded exactly where I want it to be. So it's going to look like this. Now I want to notch up top here. So I'm going to fold my corners just to the fold edge to find my center. If you are a good eyeballer, you eyeball it. We all know that I have the crooked eye and eyeballing is not really the best for me. 
And then I also want a notch on this corner over here because these are going to be, this is a side pocket and a top pocket. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink this up. And I want to reverse this and ink that crease just to draw that separation of the two pockets and right at the crease together. So, Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to start by gluing my tall pocket first. And for this, of course, I want my art glitter glue just because it has that precision tip and it adheres quickly. And I want to stay away from my fold, but I want to be right next to it, but not on the fold. And look at those super straight glue lines, guys. Man, I am here to tell you. Okay, fold this back, and this paper allows me <laughs> to use my little plaid marks, <laughs> so I make sure that it's all in place and straight based on the, the markings from the paper, which I need for my Cricut Eye, as we all have learned. So then get that glued down nicely. That should fold perfectly. And then all we need to do is we just need to glue the two sides. Of our side pocket. There's no need to glue across the bottom because our fold is there. And then we have a tendency if we overstuff or something, it could cause our paper to rip or whatever if we have that bottom glued. So to me, just gluing the sides is just fine. How cute is that? That's so cute. Okay, so there is the base. We have two of our multi-pockets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our offshoots, our offcuts here, and I grabbed the plaid paper here. So we're going to use the plaid paper. See where we're going? And I cut this just slightly under the 10 um, because I want to make sure that it folds correctly and everything fits. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that in half. And now I have one pocket, two pockets just like this. Okay. This pocket, I want to go ahead and I want to notch that for a thumb hole. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Distress ink that center as well. Okay. Now I can go ahead and glue this one in, and I want to make sure that I don't glue it all the way to my edge because that's going to provide bulk and it won't fold correctly. Um, so we're going to come just outside of our folio with our fold line. And 
and again, glue inside, not on your fold line. Make sure that you're gluing inside of your fold line, and you do your two sides and your bottom on this pocket. And I find that if I fold over the top pocket, that way I make sure that placement is perfect to adhere that down. Okay, so now we have our third pocket. And from here, you can add all sorts of styles and types of pockets that you would like. So let's go ahead. I'm going to cut this down to this is like four and seven eighths is what I'm going to cut this down to with my new little cutter. And then I just, this is currently four inches. I am going to cut it to two inches. That's going to give me two pockets. So I can do one pocket here. Well, let's just put them together here. Cut our little thumb hole. Now, I am going to go ahead and in keeping with the rounded corner theme here, I am going to go ahead and round these two outside corners here um, just so everything matches. That means I also need to round this bottom corner here. And then ink that up well. Okay. And we're going to glue this. up your corner. So there's a fourth pocket. Now we have now we have some options. This is a scrap piece that I have left from making these pockets. And so I want to tie my, basically, because this is still kind of part of the front when you put it together. So this is the scrap I want to use for this pocket here. Now, do I want, how do I want the pocket to be? I'll do a traditional pocket here. So again, check my check my measurement. And that four and seven eighths is going to be perfect. Okay. And here I need to round my left hand corner. I 
I could have done that, but I want to tie that center in. Don't second guess yourself, Dion. Just go with it. Just go with it. Okay, friends. So now we're going to just glue this down. G's original five pockets. One, two, three, four, and five. So those are the five pockets that she has. Now you can decide from here, do you want more pockets? Um, how many more pockets do you want? Um, like, I, like I did here, I added, so this is one pocket here, two pockets there. On the front, I added this tuck pocket. I added another pocket here, which I will do on this one just because, just because I can, really. And um, then you have pocket here, pocket here. So for this one, I definitely want to have another pocket here. Um, I think I want to... Keep with, just checking some things out here, friends. No need to panic. Because I cut that notch in there, I think I will use this. Piece, and I'm just marking where I need to cut that to fit. And keep that notch centered. So then that creates another pocket there. Let's ink that up. I just like the extra interest. That's really, it's, there's no rhyme or reason really. I just like, because if one pocket is good, five, six, seven, twelve pockets is better. So that's all it is. It's personal preference. But these are definitely cute enough to stop exactly where it is right now. Um, and then just throw some tags. Um what not in there, but we're going to go a little further here. Okay, so there's another pocket there. And then on the front, here's the thing. I love those Christmas trees so so very much and I don't know if I honestly want to cover them I just think that is so beautiful so I think I might just leave it at six pockets so let's add some tags and some extra special fun to this here while we can so this could be a tag I was trying to decide if I wanted it to be a journal card or a tag. So we're going to do a tag here. I'm just using my little tag shape maker here. Create my tag. And make my corners. Punch a circle. And ink, of course, of course. Okay. 
All right. So we have a tag for our front here. Then let's see. We have this blue. branding strip off here and I am going to make this a tag Having my air conditioner and a fan on in here is drying out my brand new ink pad. I'm sad. I'm going to have to re-ink it. Well, it's really my fault because I leave the lid off, you know, while I'm going about my business. But I'm blaming it on the air conditioner and the fan because I don't want to take any accountability whatsoever for my own actions right now. Can anybody else relate? Oh, look how cute that is. That's fabulous. Then we can take this one and cut the branding strip off of it. And it can be a journaling card. Oh my goodness. For our side pocket. Okay. Look how cute. Then let's see. What else do I got here, friends? I got a mess. I know you're like, clean up your space. Sorry. I am one of those crafters who works well in chaos, and I know a lot of people cannot handle that. Sorry, friends. I'm that girl. Because when I put things where they're somewhat supposed to belong, I can't ever find them. It's truth. I'm like, oh, yes, this is the perfect place for that. And then I go to find it, and I'm like, I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea where it went. I know it's in the perfect place that was the perfect place when I did it. But it's not the perfect place when my memory needs to serve me for it. So, yeah, I'm that girl. If it's in a pile, I usually know what pile it's in. So that is what works for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm literally just taking the little pieces and the parts that are left from these offcuts. And I'm just using them to create tags and embellishments, journal cards. And then I've also got a sheet of cut-aparts here that are from the same kit and so we'll use those but I think this little folio is just perfect for memory keeping for the holidays um, you know just even just your your day of Christmas memory keeping, you know, being able to tuck some photos in the pockets, um, use the journaling cards and the tags to really write down your thoughts. Um, I just think it is adorable. Now, hold the phone. Hold the phone, you know, because you're watching this video on your phone, right? Hold the phone. I don't know. It was just a statement, friends. 
Um, all right, going to try to cut this. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, have this thought. I have this thought, my friends. I have this thought. What if I just did a belly band here? I'm just going to do it, okay? Because it's just going to be easier to do it than to show it to you. Ah. Uh, it's a hot mess video on a Tuesday, friends. I can turn anything into a hot mess video. I am telling you right here, right now. That's just how I can. So we're going to do a belly band that is not too high up on our page because, again, I don't really want to take away from these beautiful trees. I just love them. But it still gives us an extra space to tuck a family photo or a letter or um, whatever your little heart desires onto the front of this. And I'm basically positioning this exactly where the top of the pocket ends like so and if I was to take my little journal cards out you would see it almost looks like a layered pocket now which rightfully it kind of is um, if you think about it And then I can add something from here. Oh, what, 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 what? Look how cute this is. This is so cute. This paper is so fun. Dun, 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 dun. It's beginning to look a lot, oh, but my struggle is real because I'm stuck between this Santa, which ties the inside to the outside. So I think I was thinking it was going to be, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, but it's not. It is going to be this Santa because it is so, so cute. Okay, then I'm going to round its little corners. And I'm going to ink it up. So cute. So looking at the positioning, I'm going to say it's going to be easier for me to put the glue on the actual belly band than it is on the card. And so I'm going to hold my finger here and glue to here.
cute. Cute, 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 cute. Like so. Okay, friends. So this is this is just the beginning. You can continue to embellish beyond this. Um, if you wanted, you could even take this little folio and you could sew a small little journal into it. And this could actually become a cover for a journal. I mean, so many ways that you can use this super cute um, multi-pocket folio. So that is the basics. That's the basis. You can have five, six, seven, however many pockets you so desire. And this was basically done using two sheets of double-sided cardstock. The base is really one sheet of cards of double-sided cardstock. Um, but then I used a second accent sheet for this and then the extra pocket. So two sheets of double-sided cardstock gets you this super awesome little flip folio. And I hope that this inspires you um, to take a look at the papers that you have and find fun ways that you can create little gifts like this for your Christmas gifting needs this year. So friends, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope that you will try this one. And again, I must remind you because I forgot at the beginning of the video, um, because we are in our last week of... Christmas in July, um, I will be doing a giveaway after the end of this series. And in order to win, um, or in order to be eligible to win, you need to do three things. You need to like this video. You need to comment below um, with your favorite video so far in the series. And then you need to make sure that you are a subscriber. So like, comment your favorite video in the series, and subscribe to my channel. And then I will be putting everybody who, um, who meets those criterias from the 24th, from July 24th through July 31st. Um, I will be keeping track of all of that. And then I will draw for the winner um, on or around the 7th of August. So that gives everybody a week to make sure they're caught up and they can get entered. So basically, I'm giving you eight days, eight chances to win. So like, comment, subscribe. And you can win your chance to win some of the items that I have created plus other items that um, I have coming up in my shop. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. Um, I hope you will continue to watch. And I just want to thank you. And I hope this inspires you. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So until then, friends, please be well. And we'll chat soon. Bye-bye.